Oh, Berry Hill High School is the only one here in this district, and they're very proud with their almost 400 students to have a 94% graduation rate. That is very impressive. Also, I want to tell you that we are in their brand new storm shelter. It's built to withstand 250 mile an hour winds, so glad to see that they have that shelter available to them here. Now, and on Monday, the elementary school, they're going to be honoring veterans. But tonight, we're all about the upcoming game. Our Braden Bates is out at the field right now, and this is a very big night, just not just for the players, Braden. That's right, Karen. It is senior night here, and over the past couple of weeks, we've seen as schools have their own senior night traditions. Well, I talked with the cheer team, and they shared their traditions and how they're creating new ones. That's just a typical week as a Berry Hill cheerleader. Week after week, the cheer team hand paints signs in preparation for the football games. It's just been a thing where we paint our signs instead of having a pre-made one because it's just more meaningful. It's a tradition dating back generations of cheerleaders. This cheer team inviting me to their Thursday night paint session. But each one kind of correlates to <laughs> the week. So like this week is senior week, so like we're hunting for a win. And so our theme is camo. But then we had to also incorporate some cake and some friendly rivalry in our theme too. This week felt different for this cheer team. The anticipation of senior night on the horizon with the team getting ready to honor their four leaders. Mm, well. However, each senior is ready for their next chapter. I'm really excited and happy that I have, you know, a home to come back to every year if I need to. I'm told this team's bond is like no other, welcoming a new cheerleader to the squad. A trendsetter. Yes. Cheerdresser. Barry Hill's first male cheerleader. Jackson Rodert says he's grateful he faces fears trying out for the team. I've heard like some of my friends have told me like, oh, they're like younger brother has said, oh, that makes me want to do cheer. So like it makes me kind of happy that it I've started that trend and like that new tradition to have other boys and coming into cheer. And you can't forget about this team's coach being a beacon for these students for the last 28 years. She tells me this group is more special because some of the seniors were in her pre-K class many years ago. Now she's ready to let them go and grow, cheering them on every step of the way. I hope one thing they take away is that I truly, truly love them and yeah, and, and wish them the best. And I can't wait. They could rule the world, and I hope they do. And as you can see on their press box, they were state champions in 2004. It's hard to believe that that was 20 years ago. Well, tonight they're actually bringing back some of the students who were on those teams tonight, and they're hopefully going to be here in the stands kind of braving it out in this rain.